The marriage breakup of Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman has always been the subject of rumours and speculation. What really happened? Now an insider is finally revealing the forces behind the split and what role religion played. We are the authorities on getting people off drugs. We are the authorities on the mind. The truth is, manipulation is a very tricky thing. That's how totalitarian organizations work. Well, extremely controlling, uh, extremely dedicated, uh, someone who, and also extremely hardworking, uh, and extremely talented. We can rehabilitate criminals. Way to happiness, we can bring peace uh, and unite cultures. Have you ever felt this way? You are God. Believe it or not, I was a true believer, just like Tom. I was. Is Tom Cruise being used? Was Nicole Kidman almost a victim as well? Was their marriage doomed once she rejected Scientology? Tori Crustman is in no doubt, and Scientology was her life. He's up at the top of it. I'm sure the head of the Scientology, David Miscavige, is telling him, we're counting on you, you're the guy, you're the man. And so he's out there being, I feel bad for the guy, because he's totally being used by them, and they know it. They're using him. Well, it's totally not true. The irony is that he's being used by those who attack the church. In this case, Tory, Mr. Morton, who wrote this outlandish book, Scientology International's Vice President, Bob Adams, says Tom is the victim of spiteful ex-members. They're abusing Mr. Cruz's rights and his privileges, his, uh, his freedoms, in an effort to capitalize on his notoriety, and indirectly and directly attacking the Church of Scientology. Like, here's the thing, you haven't been on a course. So you it don't really matter. know the basics of our religion. It doesn't matter. I was with it for 30 years. I'm just, I'm saying he flew in here, hello? Some guy flew in here, we're having a little party, and he flies in and say how bad we are? Her credentials? Tori's adult life was devoted to defending the church from its yeah, many critics. It's a dirty trick, man. That's not a dirty trick. It is a dirty she trick. She claims her blind faith cost her her marriage and resulted in her performing murky acts on Scientology's behalf. That way, that's how you can put it. I worked my way up to the top, found out it didn't really work at all. It's, it's one of those things where they're always telling you the next level will do it, the next level. I got to the top, it didn't work. Shortly after this video was shot outside one of Scientology's headquarters, she renounced her membership and fled. Now she reckons she understands what it's all about. She has a very slow train of mind control, that's all I can tell you, where you slowly are worked in this mental state where you truly and honestly believe, and if you're surrounded by enough people that agree with you on something, it tends to click in. You were not there! You did not! The church's critics have been steadily growing. You wanted to get a reaction like you're getting right now. Well, buddy, you got it. Andrew Morton's latest book on Tom Cruise added yet more material, and Tom's own behavior has fueled the controversy. Just put your manners back in. Now, Tori Christman, who claims she was in a special church office and engaged in dirty tricks when Tom and Nicole met and married, right through to the time when they parted company, says their marriage was highly unlikely to survive. I was in Scientology when, Ta when Nicole said, I'm not a Scientologist, I want to raise my children Catholic. And we all went, that's the end of that marriage. And six months later, it was over. Scientology had absolutely nothing to do with their divorce. The church's involvement was zero. And uh, we do not interfere with such relationship situations. That was their decision. I mean, this is the ultimate mixed marriage because you're not talking about the people who are, are maybe a Baptist and a, a Presbyterian. These are two totally different religions. That like Tori Christman, entertainment nice. reporter Peter Ford believes a clash between the two immovable belief systems was inevitable. The colonist very successfully got herself right away from Scientology. There's no evidence she was ever actually a signed up member, but certainly she herself has admitted that she dabbled in it and she studied that as you would expect her to do when she's married to someone like Tom. But she was, and always is, a Catholic. But Scientology's easygoing reaction to Nicole's rejection of them is harder to understand. Tory likens it to goodbye and good riddance, because they knew they couldn't convert Nicole, but needed to stop the bad publicity.
If she's really made up her mind, no, they're not going to try to keep them together because she's already decided she's not a Scientologist. So their thing would be, good, see ya. It's sad, but unfortunately there wasn't a lot of choice involved. Peter Ford maintains Nicole is now quietly desperate to gain more access to the two children she adopted with Tom. And I think the way that the two children, Connor and Isabella, are being brought up is not the way Nicole would have wanted. They're being homeschooled by Tom's sisters. They had this very cloistered life. Fair. By contrast, Tori alleges her decision to leave Scientology produced a much harder reaction from the church and her husband, who was a senior Scientologist, because she simply isn't a high-profile celebrity. What's wrong with just saying, hey, that's cool. They got my husband to write this letter on the internet that I had an affair. Tell me who I had an affair with. I'd love to meet the guy. Really, bring him on over. I didn't have an affair. That's a flat-out lie. And that's one of what Christman claims were Scientology's dirty tactics. It was a dirty trick. I was part of the group that was going to try to get rid of the people on the internet, close it down, shut it down. Did that work? Absolutely not. Tori was a volunteer for the church. Uh, I really don't know what she did. Whatever her claims are, to the best of my knowledge, never occurred. <laughs> There's nothing hard to work <laughs> But when part of an official Scientology documentary featuring Cruz aired on YouTube, the church acted to exercise its legal right to block it. There's nothing better than going out there and fighting a fight and suddenly you see things are better. People began to think, boy, boy, you really are pretty nutty. I mean, you are at best a religious zealot, and at worst, you're probably a fanatic on this extraordinary recruitment drive to change the world. Could it be that Scientology's golden boy, Tom Cruise, is now losing his luster? Well, Mr. Cruz is a very expressive person. It's his choice to express himself the way he feels about his religion. That's one of his rights, freedom of speech, freedom of religion. If you want people to spend $14 to come and see you in a movie, they have to like you. They have to like not just the performance that you're going to give on the screen, but they have to really like what you're about. Howard Gibbs reporting from inside the secret world of Scientology. Well, if Corey Worthington would get his...